All right, everyone. I'm putting a little disclaimer at the front of this video because about 11 days ago, I had boiling water splash out of a colander onto my foot, the top of my foot, which had a sock on it, thankfully. So it didn't get as bad as it could have, but I basically burned the top of my entire foot and it was gross. And I decided to video the progression of the healing and what I did to get better. And there are going to be some kind of graphic or ugly or gross things that you will see if you continue watching. So there's your disclaimer. If you have a queasy stomach, you may not want to continue watching. Just in case anyone's wondering, this is what happens when you accidentally pour boiling water on your foot because it splashes out of the colander onto the floor where your foot is. I don't recommend it. So this is a couple hours after the incident. I also put some salve around it, not on top of it, but around it, as well as some Arnica gel around it for pain instead of taking anything it's not doing too bad i also made a spritz with lavender oil and peppermint oil in it so i can try to keep it kind of moist because when it starts feeling dry it starts hurting more and the peppermint is also cooling and that's helping okay this is the next morning if it wasn't for that gross nasty skin from the blister it's on top which I'm probably going to remove sometime today then it wouldn't be too awfully bad I think what I've done so far has really helped it and side note I did not realize how veiny my feet were until I started videoing them gross so I think we're on day four now and I had been covering it with a like silver or something antibiotic ointment, <clears throat> um, especially at night, and then um, leaving it open for a couple hours a day just to give it some room to breathe. It does seem to be starting to close up. Um, obviously that loose kind of piece of skin will need to be trimmed off or will fall off eventually, I guess, but <clears throat> Burns take a long time to heal, I'm figuring out. And this is super annoying because I can't do certain things that I normally would do. Um, today I'm supposed to go work out, but there's no way I can handle a tennis shoe across my foot or any kind of shoe for that matter. So yeah, we're gonna take some time off and hopefully this heals up. I'm sure there's gonna be a scar, but there will also be a story to tell with it. So, stupid. Also, I forgot to mention that when I'm leaving it open during the day or when it's not covered with a bandage, every 30 to 60 minutes I'm spraying it alternating with an On Guard um, protective blend spray, which is just water and 10 to 12 drops of On Guard to help it stay free from infection and to help clean it, keep it clean. And then this is um, actually an after sun spray that I use for um, when you get a little toasty out in the sun. Um, it's got, a, sorry, lavender and peppermint. So it's probably, I think I do like 15 drops of lavender, 10 of peppermint, and then I also added, um, I think 12 to 15 drops of frankincense to this one. And so that's gonna help with the healing process of the skin. Um, and also keeps it cool and refreshed, so. So this was day five and the day that I was a little concerned about what was going on and thinking I might need to go see somebody, get it checked out. I wasn't sure if I was looking at tissue or ligament or bone possibly in the middle of there. I just was afraid to touch it, afraid to remove that skin. Um, and so I texted some pictures to a doctor friend of mine um, and just got some advice from him and was pretty much doing all the right things that I should be doing and decided to wait it out another couple days, see if it would turn um, one direction or the other. And so 
This was just continuing to cover it with the silver cream and keep it bandaged. Okay, this is day six. Um, I finally removed the one piece of skin that was just kind of over there on the right side. Um, looks like there's some new skin forming underneath, which is good. Don't mind all the white junk that's just from the silver dean or silver whatever <clears throat> antibiotic cream that I've been using. But overall, it's looking pretty good, I think. On the mend. You can see the new pink skin underneath there. This has definitely turned a corner as far as healing. Don't mind all the tape marks and a nice hair on my foot. Yep, haven't shaved my foot. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. <clears throat> and you can tell it's doing pretty good. There's new skin growth. It's just amazing. The human body is amazing. It really is. All those layers of skin that were burned are starting to pull together. And it's definitely not down to the bone or anything like that because the whole thing moves. So it's not like that white part was bone. Definitely some, some tissue though, but it's amazing to me how it's just starting to grow back. I just took my bandage off from the evening. This is the morning, so it's still pretty soft and supple, but it's definitely healing and looking pretty good. And here we are, I think we're on day 11 or almost 12. And this is, you can see it's almost closed up. Um, definitely lots of new pink skin. Um, definitely still darker spots, like I said before, which are not changing color. So, um, but definitely as far as the wound goes, it is healing. You can see it's a little shiny still because I am using this Correct X um, ointment, which is made by doTERRA. So it's got essential oils in it. Um, it is just a really uh, healing salve ointment. Um, on open wounds and scrapes, it does sting a little bit. So I really have only been using it around it up until the last couple of days. And now I'm using it on it because it also helps um, with scarring and like long-term uh, issues. Um, so this has frankincense, helichrysum, cedarwood, melaleuca, and lavender in it. Um, so this is what I'm, I'm using now that I don't really need to keep it covered with the silver cream. Highly recommend it. So for those of you wanting to know what I used on my burn, um, besides the essential oils that I've talked about, um, I also got these non-stick um, pads from Walgreens, which are sterile, and these actually have little adhesive on the sides, which means I didn't always have to use extra tape, medical tape, to um, get them to stick, which was nice. Um, occasionally, if I had, you know, just showered or the foot was wet or just disinfected or washed or something, then I might need the extra tape just to help keep it stick, but these actually worked pretty good um, and didn't make my feet feel like it was like totally covered and claustrophobic and all that. And then also the silver ointment that I was talking about, my sister-in-law, hey Darren, um, she actually had extra from a burn that she had on her hand and I was able to get this from her. Um, so I guess it might be a prescription type of a thing, but I think there's also over the counter stuff. But this one is like silver sulfadiazine or something like that. So anything with silver in it, sylvadine cream, silverdine or however you say it, that is gonna be something that's important because as the wound is open and healing, there's a high risk for infection. And so this helped to keep it from being infected as it was healing. I put this on twice a day, um, every time I washed it, or if it felt dry, and that way um, it kept it from you know, hurting as much because those open wounds as they're healing, if they if they feel dry, it almost feels like you're stretching skin that's already been hurt. So keeping it um, moist is really important. 